All right, so this bike is a Honda CB360 1975, picked up for 450 bucks. It was just completely rusty, like pretty much like that. Um, but I put degreaser on it, cleaned it up. Uh, the points were junk, I cleaned those off, and we got some spark, and then put a new battery in it. Um, cleaned up, every, everything was just cleaned up completely. I used like two cans of degreaser, and then uh, the tank was all rusty on the inside, cleaned that out, cleaned the petcock out, um, put some fuel filters on it, um, what else did I do to it? Clean out the carbs, and yeah, now it runs perfect. So this one I'm selling for 1500 bucks. I think there might be a guy coming to grab this. Oh, we had to do the brake too, the front brake. Um, but yeah, the, the thing we're working on right now is this piece of junk. It's actually kind of cool. Um, you want to tell them about it, Chuck? It's a Hadaka Ace 100 frame with uh, Tell them what we did to the frame before we... We had to cut these off and all this junk over here completely off. This motor could fit in here. And the motor's from a... Chinese pocket bike. Yeah. So, electric start motor, 110cc. I think so. And that we had to line up the sprocket so it would fit the back sprocket. So the front sprocket can fit the back. That was a little bit tricky. Can't take her out. No, I need to fix the front wheel. What's up with it? Oh yeah, it needs a spacer. Doesn't want to idle. What's up with that? And it, when you tip it over, it leaks gas out of it because it's too much. It leans too much. Let's see. So, more stuff. We made this battery box for it. Um, this is out of just aluminum metal. We formed it to it. The battery is kind of floating here for right now. And then we did the. These are like um, motor brackets. Yeah, the motor's kind of just floating, as you can see. But it's supported by these two brackets up here. And then the two brackets right here holding it on. Um, this is a 1970 Hadaka frame, as you can, or 1971. So it's kind of cool. This thing doesn't work up here. But electric start is with these, this lever. I don't know if you guys remember the previous video when we had the pocket bike. But I think this is, <laughs> we've put this project off for a pretty long time. Yeah. We had to cut a lot of the frame off and that, that metal's some thick stuff. So it's finally almost done. We'll take it out in the sun so we can get a better look at it. Fix the front wheel and then take it for a quick rip. Um, should be pretty cool. All right, here we go. First ride on this thing. Hopefully it runs. I mean, it runs, but drives. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh, that thing is. Let me see the chain here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Completely rigged up. Yeah. It'll probably fall apart. We need to pump up the tire, dude. Oh, yeah. Both tires need pumping up. Man. What a work of art right here. Really work of art. Look at the handlebars. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You should take this to like the bike show. Most rigged bike. Like rat rod. That would actually like probably, probably win. <laughs> Keep that seat on there too. The uh, <laughs> the cushion. It's like ratchet strap it on. Oh man, that thing is just. It's rigged, for sure. <laughs> oh, it's minty though. Minty yeah. but rigged. It runs minty. All right, here he comes. On the Hadaka rat rod, I guess we could call it. Things cruising pretty good. Dang. Oh. Chain flew off. Dang. Right in front of the car too. 
over here. He was cruising too. Uh, the master link fell off. Hmm. Wonder where that went. Oh, here's the chain. There's Chuck. We'll have to look for the master link. I don't know where that went. What happened? The master link came off. Dude, I was going like 45. Yeah, and there was a car coming. Good thing he didn't lock up the back wheel. Thing's fast. <laughs> it's a sketch. Kind of. It's actually not that bad though. Dang. Thing's cool. Let's go look for the master link and take it for another rip. Yeah, you were going really fast when the chain came off. Like, yeah. and it just like was so smooth. <laughs> it was just like. Mm. Yeah. Sounds cool. Pretty cool little bike. Yeah. Considering, I mean, that frame, we bought that thing for 75 bucks. Yep. And then the, the motor was, how much? Traded it for... 100 bucks. <laughs> so, that's a pretty cheap bike. <laughs> you can still have some fun with it, you know? Rat rod, take it to the shows. No big deal. Things cool. If it had that tank, it'd be. It's really pretty cool. reliable too. Oh, if it had the Hadaka tank, it'd be sweet. Mm -hmm. They cover up all that um, wire and everything too. Might have to do some restoration on that tank. It's pretty rough though. I don't know. Yeah. Let's go look for the master link. All right, so it's the next day. Um, we got the chain. And it's missing the master link, as you guys know. So we just ordered a new master link off of Amazon. That's gonna be coming in a couple days. So that's good. Um, I think it's a 40 or 420 chain. The size is, pretty sure. Um, the motor runs pretty good, pretty uh, reliable. We got fine-tuned and everything. It is missing the airbox, so we're gonna get like a nice clamp on one for that. To stick out the front and uh, yeah that would be that we're going to try to get the Hadaka tank um, here's the original tank for it right here it's pretty cool it fits like the rat rod look on the bike so we're going to try to get that JB welded up just got a couple holes in it and then put that on this bike and then we're probably just going to leave it all rusty and stuff like this um, it's kind of all just rigged together, you know, kind of cool looking. I'm not too upset with it. I mean, we had this roller frame around and instead of scrapping it, you know, might as well just use it. Had good tires on it and a uh, good sprocket. Um, good forks and stuff, so figured why not use it. And uh, we got a cheap motor for it, electric start, can't go wrong. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a cool bike, more to come on this. Let me get the master cylinder. We'll do like a top speed test, see how fast that Chinese motor can go with this big tire on it and stuff. Who knows, we might play around with it some more, make some fenders for it, whatnot. But uh, anyway, this Honda, someone's coming for this day, I think. People canceled um, yesterday afternoon, somebody canceled on it. They said they found another one for cheaper, so whatever. But they're missing out on a good one. This one starts up right away. Neutral light works, then electric start. Uh, the gauge doesn't really work right here. Yeah, it starts right up, um, runs really well, it's pretty fast, not too unhappy with it. The only thing that doesn't work on it is the headlight.
doesn't work. And the headlight. For some reason it doesn't work. Might just be a bad plug in the headlight. Or a burnt out fuse or something. But yeah, it runs pretty good. Pretty peppy little bike. Um, I don't know if I sh showed you guys the inside of it before, but it's completely original. It has the toolbox and everything. Look at how nice it is on the inside. Uh, battery goes under here, electric start, fuse box, which actually I'm gonna check the fuse box and see if the, um, the light is out in the front. And sure enough, that fuse is blowing right here. I'm gonna take that fuse out and that one's this one's blown for sure. The tail light. It's a seven amp fuse. So we're gonna change that fuse out so the tail light works. And uh, the toolbox goes right here. And all the original tools are in there. And the side covers, these are each 80 bucks a piece. I looked on eBay, so that's nice. And this gas tank is super nice. Um, I cleared out all the rust out of it with vinegar. Um, it still does have the light surface rust though, which isn't like a huge deal, but it's pretty. Yeah, see, it just, it rusts right away, right when you clean it out right when it uh, gets exposed to air or anything, it just rusts right away, or water or whatever, so. But yeah, so now I can change the fuse out and all the lights should work. Um, it's a cool little bike, Honda CB360. I had one previously, I think it was like last year, I had one similar, it was blue, tank was blue. I think I sold that for around $1,000. So this one should go around $1,000, I would think. Um, but yeah, someone's coming tonight for it, and uh, yeah, they should buy it. See, uh, the CR500, um, I may be tearing this thing down, I'm going to take the pipe off, take the air filter off, take the seat off, take the carb out, look at the reeds, um, obviously it wasn't running right, I know there, there's no power valves in this motor, <laughs> I should have realized that when I first bought it, but obviously it didn't, I'm so used to the, the 250 that I thought there's power valves, but yeah, there's no spot for the power valves to go. And people were saying the compression is low. I'm going to try to get a compression tester on it and see. I mean, it's pretty pretty dang good. I might just need a new spark plug. I'm going to try that too. Pick up a new spark plug today for it. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Pretty excited though to get it running right. I know this thing should wheelie in like every gear. So yeah, we'll see what happens. It could just be a a bad carburetor that needs a cleaning, you know, or jets, or, or jetting, or the pipe could be plugged up with some oil. Um, the reeds could be bad, just have like a little gap in between the the reeds, but you never know. Or it could just be a scored piston, um, or it could be a ring is loose. Could be a lot of stuff, so. I'm gonna tear into it later today, and uh, I'll figure it out. But this thing is going to be ripping hard soon, no matter what. If I have to rebuild it, I'll rebuild it. So that's the story with that. So anyway, on that note, we'll end the video. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and until next time, we are out. Would you ever hope for